A uh, very big day today here in the Midlands. President Joe Biden was in fact right here in Columbia giving a speech in West Columbia touting his economic plan known as Bidenomics. He unveiled a new partnership between Flex LTD and something called Enphase Energy. It's going to create about 600 jobs here in South Carolina. News 19's Becky Buds joins us now live from West Columbia with the very latest on the presidential visit. Becky. Well, Darcy and Andrea, the White House describes Bidenomics as a plan to strengthen the economy from the middle out and the bottom up. The president telling his supporters today that the new partnership is a direct result of his Inflation Reduction Act. Hello, South Carolina. <laughs> President Joe Biden touting his administration's investments in clean energy during a visit to a Midlands manufacturing plant on Thursday. Jobs that used to go to Mexico, India, Romania, and China are now coming home to South Carolina. The president announced a new partnership between Flex LTD and Enphase Energy. He says it will create hundreds of jobs and produce thousands of microinverters, which are devices used on solar panels. Because when you invest in our people, when you strengthen the middle class, we see stronger economic growth that benefits everybody. He also highlighted other legislative wins, like the bipartisan infrastructure law. How many years you've been talking about fixing malfunction junction? Well, now, thanks to Jim Clyburn and the help from the infrastructure law, it's finally going to get fixed. Congressman Jim Clyburn, who helped propel Biden to victory in 2020, praising him as a president for all Americans. We must make America's greatness accessible and affordable for everyone everywhere. Bidenomics is delivering in every corner of South Carolina. Biden also took shots at South Carolina Republicans who voted against his economic policies. Every Republican member of the House in this state voted to repeal the clean energy provisions of the Inflation Reduction Act. That, that attached, attracted all these jobs. Today's stop marks Biden's second official visit to the Palmetto State since 2021, and there were no Republican lawmakers in attendance today. Reporting live in West Columbia, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX.